Let's take our next question that is question number 4. Now the question you see belongs to section of electromagnetism of chapter capacitance and potential. Now in here there are 4 equal point charges capital Q each are placed at the following coordinates on XY plane. And the work required to put a fifth charge capital Q from infinity to the origin of that coordinate system would be. What I need to do is we just have to calculate the potential difference between the origin of this coordinate system and infinite and multiply this charge capital Q with the difference. That will give us the work done. Let's start with the solution. Now, here you see this would be the origin, this would be the y axis and this would be the x axis. All the corners have charge capital Q. Right. What I want to put a new charge capital Q here. Now first and most important thing at infinity the potential would be zero. So our only concern is to find the potential at origin. For that we need distances and it's very easy to find the distances here. From distance here to here would be two. Distance from here to here would be again two. Distance from here to here would be so this is 2, this is 4, you can find that this would be under root of 2 square plus 4 square, 20, right? Similarly, on the same lines, this will be also the same distance, that is root 20. So, we have 4 charges which will add their potential here and since they are all our positive charges, the potential will be added simply as potential is the scalar quantity. Now, let's write the values here. Now as per the given equation, potential by first charge would be kq by 2 plus by this charge would be again kq by 2 by this charge would be kq upon root 20 plus potential by this would be kq by root of 20, right? On solving this, you will get kq plus 2 kq by root of 20 this would be potential at O, right? And potential at infinity would be 0. So, on finding the work done, you will get capital Q, the charge which has been mobilized, final position minus initial position. And this would be K capital Q square plus 2K capital Q square by 2 root 5. And you can see here that this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled. What you are left with is work done equals to kq square 1 plus 1 by root 5. Right? Let's see which is the best suited option here. So among the four options given, you can find that option number 4 is the right answer to this question. Right? Let's move ahead and find question number 5. Now the question you see belongs to a section of electromagnetism and the topic would be electromagnetic wave. The electric field of a plane polarized electromagnetic wave in free space at time t equals to 0 is given by this expression here. Right? Now the magnetic field we have to find out. The very first thing is the electric field is along the y axis. That means the magnetic field should be somewhere in x z plane. Right? So let's start with the solution. So electric field given to us is tan j cap cos of 6x plus 8z. The very first important thing is electric field and dot product of magnetic field should be 0. This implies that magnetic field will be in xz plane, right? Now we have to understand that among the following if you understand that E by B would be equal to C, right? So from here you will get B naught is equals to E naught by C, right? Now what would be the magnitude of E naught? It would be 10. So if I want to understand the direction of this magnetic field now, so the direction should be such that E cross B should be in line with 6i cap 
plus 8 k cap. Now from here I will say that j, j cap cross product of x i cap plus z k cap should be 6 i cap plus 8 k cap right. Now from here you will find that x would be equal to minus 8 and z will be equal to 6. So we have found the x component and z component and if you take the magnitude of these two you will get that the value of this will be 10. So for us the magnetic field would be 1 by c this as minus 8 i cap plus 6 k cap into cos of 6 x plus 8 z. Now this wave is progressing along the positive direction of x z plane. So with the matching ones, I have found the two options that is option 2 and option 4. We have satisfied with the first part of the equation but here this is plus density and this is minus density. And you are well aware whenever a wave progresses along the positive direction, the omega t will contain a negative sign in front of it. So among these, I will say the part of minus density will be here. This is the omega 2 portion. So according to the options available, the best suited answer for this case would be option number 4. Right? Let's move ahead to our next question. Now, this question you see belongs to section electromagnetism and the chapter would be electrostatics. As far as the question is concerned, there are two charges plus q and minus q at a distance of 2a as per the diagram. Let me show that to you. Now as per this diagram, this minus q and plus q are separated by 2a distance. So this would be a and this would be a. Let me mark that for you. Now due to this charge system, there was some force which was exhibited at point P. There was a charge and force F was exhibited and the charge present at P was Q. Later on, this charge was brought to P dash point and the new force was F dash. This distance you see is Y. At any point of time, Y is very very greater than 2A which has been given to us and this distance new ones is given as y by 3 and this is also very very greater than 2a as per the questions. We need to find the value of f dash in terms of f right. So let's start with the solution. As you know the formula of electric field due to dipole would be kp by y square plus l square power 3 by 2. That's a general formula. But here, since y is very, very greater than the a, that is the length of the dipole, you will write E as k p divided by y cube. So what is the force exerted? That would be E into q, the charge which is there at that point. It will become k p q upon y cube. This is the first equation. At the second case, the formula of F dash would be K P Q divided by Y by 3 whole Q. This will be written as 27 K P Q divided by Y cube. Now as you see, F dash would be 27 times of F, right? Let's see which is the best suited option here. So as far as the four options are concerned, option number three would be the right answer to this question. Right? Let's move ahead to our next section that is question number seven.